Yeah, um, this is the book about uh, my mother's life. It was written by Alison O'Reilly. She's the journalist who broke the story in May 2014 when I brought her the story of my mother and Catherine Cordes' work. Um, this is my mother here, Bridget, and this is me as a baby, the only baby she got to keep. <laughs> Uh, it covers her life and her two journeys through the ch ch mother and baby home and what she went through and it's still a work in progress because a lot of research I done is in it and um, it was written in 2018 so there's a lot more to come maybe there will be a part two. Um, Alison also included the stories of um, other survivors' lives, which is very important because this is about everybody. This is about everybody who walked through these homes. And most poignant of all, at the end of it, is all the children are named individually. They may not have got any recognition in life or and may have been dumped unceremoniously into a pit in Shum, but here they are actually living reading and they've been giving acknowledgement because everybody has a right to acknowledgement in life they're sentient beings and also in death um, if you need to contact us uh, you can contact remembering the tomb babies or um, I my name is Anna Corrigan and I'm the PR for the tomb babies family group we have 11 of our family uh, dumped in this pit and we also represent survivors. So if you need to contact anyone regarding anything, feel free. If you need help, we're here. If you'd like to join us, please do. Uh, and the book, as I say, it's it's a very important book. It's um, That's not from a personal point of view, but it is a very important story. Uh, 2018, it was published, and there's still more to come. There may be a part two, because we're no way finished with this yet.